So you probably heard plenty about the coronavirus lately. But did you know there's another virus out there that shares something in common? It is here, on this computer. It is... In this episode of Viral Rewind, we're looking at the Wuhan DOS virus. Now, when someone hears the name Wuhan, they think of Wuhan, China, the center of the outbreak of the coronavirus. Well, this virus is named Wuhan because it originated out of Wuhan, China. Anyway, coronavirus is biological. This is technological. This is a computer virus. But, just like any virus, it infects files, corrupts them, and can potentially trash the computer with its destructive payload. So, let's get into it. So when we run Wuhan, we don't get any kind of printout to the DOS prompt, it just returns us back to it, but Wuhan is now in memory, so it's a memory resident virus, and it will be running its infection payload of any .com and .exe files, either when they're run and we'll see that it has an interesting way of infecting files any time that you run a program or do a directory listing. So, Wuhan's in memory, so let's find one program on there to infect. So, let's go with unformat.com. Because we can see its size there already is 12,738 bytes. Run unformat, and then look at its size again. So you can see that unformat.com's final size has increased to 16,041 bytes now from where it was before. So obviously Wuhan has now added its code to that. It's not stealthy in any way, so the file size will increase. Now, about the interesting way that Wuhan infects files, it does the infection routine like most other viruses when you run an uninfected file while Wuhan is in memory it will of course infect the file like we've seen here but it will also pick out two to three .com and .exe files in alphabetical order from the directory that the infected or uninfected file was run from and infect those as well so I didn't sh really have the first part of the directory listing showing there but if I did, you would be able to note that some of the file sizes changed in the, in the first set of files there, both .com and .exes, because Wuhan took two to three of those files each, .com and .exes, and infected those as well when we ran unformat.com. The other interesting thing that Wuhan does is anytime you run a directory listing without any switches, so that means just running the directory listing like that, but not having switches like these added on to it. Anytime the directory listing is run, it will also run its infection routine, infecting 2 to 3 .com and .exe files. So you don't just have to run a program, whether it's infected or not, to infect files. Just the directory listing command alone will trigger Wuhan to infect files in the present directory. So, let me run the directory listing with a switch so we can see the directory listing. So again, I can see files like attrib.exe and backup.exe went up in file size because they got infected. Check disk has not been infected yet. We may see that go up in size next time we run a directory listing or infect another file on purpose. So let me run the classic directory listing with no switches. Now if I do run it with a switch, notice that check disk is now increased in file size. It's now 15,545 bytes. I think it was like 12,000 something before. We haven't gone to edit.com yet, but I can tell that disk comp and disk copy have gone up in file size. Those are 14,041 and 16,633 respectively. So, again, we can compare that with the snapshot that I just had earlier. I just edit the video to include that. So that's how Wuhan's file infection routine works. Either running 
an uninfected or infected file with Wuhan in memory infects that file along with two to three dot com and dot exe is in alphabetical order before, until it gets to the end and anytime the regular directory command is run without any switches it will also infect the files but again it only runs its infection in the folder that the uninfected or infected program or directory command is run in so if I ran a program in the DOS directory like this, if I ran a program there, then Wuhan will only infect in .com.exe files in that directory. So, let me go back to the temp directory. Now, I mentioned that Wuhan has a destructive payload, and it's destructive depending on how you answer it. And it has a date and time requirement. So, the date has to be the 24th of June. So if it's the 24th of June of any year, so the year doesn't matter, and the time is any time after 11 a.m. So that's basically 11 a.m. to 11.59 p.m. are the times that you can do it. Any other times it won't execute even. So let's make it 1 p.m. And if you run any infected file or uninfected file but usually the file would be infected when this happens you get this and I didn't show it here but the hard drive indicator light ran for a little while before this payload appeared and as you can see it says warning no reset your PC had been destroyed by me follow me and I can restore it for you it says today is my birthday say happy birthday to me and you have to type out happy birthday exactly as you see it there so you can't type it all in lowercase or make any kind of misspellings if you do we'll get to that in a minute it'll basically wipe the entire partition table out which is what it's done it's actually taken the partition table out and stored it in memory that's why it has no reset if you reset your computer now all your data's gone so if you reset or answer this wrong the partition table goes away that's it so Let's type happy birthday. And you press enter. And it brings us back to the DOS prompt. Now, of course, it's the unformat command that's infected, so of course it tried running it right after there and brought us back to invalid or unspecified drive. But, again, every time you run one of these, it's going to bring you right back to this payload. So... Assume you either type it wrong or you tell it something else. Well, it doesn't want me to put the whole thing in there. Okay. That'll work. And when you type that, it just says, why? Like, why do you hate me so much? Or why did you say that F you at me? And basically what it does here is it hangs the computer up. You can't do anything. You can only reset. But of course, as I said, it held your partition table in memory. It did not restore at that time. So when the computer boots up here, it's going to tell us there's no operating system. No operating system has been found. And let me find a diskette here. So that I can visually show you that there is no partitions on this system at all now. So basically your data is gone at this point. You're going to have to restore it from backups. Yeah, one of the interesting things too about the Wuhan DOS virus. I don't know if it's coincidental or not. But most viruses have a numerical suffix added to them to designate different uh, iterations or varieties of them out there. And, of course, there's only one version of Wuhan, but its numerical suffix is 3289. Now, interestingly, D3289 is a train that runs from Wuhan to Xiamen, there in China. 
Again, whether 3289 is coincidental to that or not, I don't know. But it's one of the other interesting things about the Wuhan dust virus and its numerical suffix relating to a, a train that runs from Wuhan to Xiamen. One of the other things is also with edit.com and help.com. Sometimes those programs get corrupted in such a way that they either present some kind of weird graphics or they just hang the system or even reboot it if you try to run it when it's infected. Yeah, that's about the only two things about Wuhan. So, load up the partition commander here and you'll see it doesn't show any partitions when we get to the partition manager. And there you go, it just says a, a chunk of 2 gigabytes of free space there. It doesn't show any kind of partitions to find. So as I said, Wuhan's payload, it is destructive if you answer it wrong. It takes out your partition table and all your data goes away with it. So that's pretty much it for the Wuhan DOS virus.